looking suit that Greg McDermott is wearing here tonight. Everybody's ready to go here in Omaha for some Big East action. Nice shoes from Mac as well. The student section was in here well before this game was even close to getting started and it has brought a lot of energy to this arena from the tip. And that wide open. But those are the hustle plays that DePaul has to make as they improve going forward, and that's automatic. How many times has the crowd here in Omaha seen Baylor Shireman knock one down with ease? And he gets Creighton on the board. It was number one. And in the first game, it was 16 to 4, and that was really what blew it open. And here they come again. Inside to Kalkbrenner. Working on Nelson again. He goes up strong with that right hand. And that's great. Alexander. Hustle by Kalkbrenner. And Creighton maintains the possession. Again, Alexander. That time it falls. Everybody's gunning for the Blue Jays, but this has not even been close. Like you said, it's just been blowout city. Shireman off the bounce. He wanted the call as well. He won't get that, but what Kalkbrenner does, he alters shots inside. We've talked about his blocks, but at least 10 times a game he alters a shot. It's so difficult to score over him. Alexander rises up. And two more for Trey Alexander. Well, the scene wants to run. And Francisco Farabello just weaving through the maze and finding daylight and rising up for two. To be on fire. What a great shooter. Good start to this game for Jalen Terry. He's got seven points now. There's Shireman. And again, Shireman knocks down his second triple of this game. So a turnover on DePaul, and Creighton's going to get the ball back. Ashworth for three. And that's what Creighton wants to see. A break. Ramey all the way to the glass. Little hesitation. And he got trapped to leave his feet. Well, he's four out of 11 from three. His left four out of 11, he's hit. But So you got to respect that. And there's that energy Creighton's been looking for. Stat comparison is sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. This is the annual pink out game. Creighton versus Cancer here tonight in Omaha. And it has been such a successful venture for Creighton. They have been able to raise over $500,000 since they started this over these 14 seasons for Hope Lodge Omaha, which is a tremendous thing. Hope Lodge Omaha actually allows families that are coming to town to get cancer treatment, the families to stay there for free to help them through those tough times. And uh, this is just such a, a tremendous night for the Creighton community, for the community of Omaha, and just for everyone that is trying to raise awareness and raise funds in the fight against cancer. And everybody here during the timeout putting up the signs I stand up for with the name of a cancer survivor or somebody in your life that has dealt with cancer and almost everybody has someone in their life that has dealt with cancer. Just a, a touching moment here at CHI Health Center. Greg McDermott is so involved in this event and making sure this watch out for Kalkbrenner around the rim how about him checking back in the game after a very short break Jason Green also into the game for Creighton and they run one into the corner for Ashworth and he buries another I tell you coaching him a ton of times to come up with sets and plays just like that I mean, he's just a wizard when you get that whiteboard in his hands he'll draw something up and get his guys in the best position to score layups like that Alexander with 11 now Nice screen from Kalkbrenner. Wide open is Alexander. And it rattled home. Which is almost in Fisher. Going right at Alexander. 
He's had success getting in the paint, not so much finishing consistently. Oh, what a take by Alexander, and one. We go back to those blob plays. You have to find the shooters. You got to fight through screens. Ashworth. Starting to see him get going a little to reset things. Nobody picked up Alexander, and he said, okay, I'll take it myself. And Trey Alexander putting together a nice start to this second half. He's got 19 points now. I'll play their best. Deshaun Nelson trying to go right at Kalkbrenner. A good defense from the seven-footer. Alexander finds Ashworth. He's starting to feel it. Yes, he is. I, I think he'll find a way to win both of those games. And we're looking at Ashworth there during the timeout, but he stays in the game. Creighton has extended this to an 11-point lead here in the second half. And a lot of the reason why right there, Trey Alexander having a action to Trey Alexander right here to start this offensive set. And they are dominating on second chance opportunities. They're crashing in there, taking advantage of their size. Another brilliant play. A 19-4 run for the Blue Jays and Steven. And now here's Ramey on the other end. And now the pace picking up, which Creighton likes. Oh, you're exactly right. You do not want to get in a shootout. With 13.25 to go, you still want to be disciplined if you're DePaul. Move it side to side. Ramey going baseline. Fix it out. A pass. Trying to show a little range. Does not fall. And here comes Creighton the other way. Nice look to Ashworth and an even better feed to Kalkbrenner. Shireman. Ashworth. Back out to Shireman. He's going to try again. Second time he gets it to fall. 13 for Shireman. And it's sort of the tournament to make a ton of noise. When you have this type of firepower plus the rim protector, it's not only fun to watch, but it's almost impossible to stop. Here's Alexander, 23 for him. And it's going to be a timeout for Matt Brady. Good call, partner. I mean, those are the timeouts you have to take, not only to break the momentum, but to get guys back focused on what to do. Runner inside on ETN. Boy, that was us in the first half. But Ashworth's improvement defensively from the beginning of the year to now has really helped Creighton as a defensive team. They lob inside to Kalkbrenner. Curled it. He didn't flare off of it. Turned the corner, got the perfect pass, and got to the rim. It's been tough for them in this second half, but that was exactly how you draw it up. Isaac Trout for three. Greg McDermott will tell you. You're going to get the ball back, right? You don't force it like a lot of teams do. As fast as they play, they're scoring 80 points or hitting 10 threes a game, but it's usually assisted. And look at that. Share the basketball like we were just talking about. Shireman wants to run now. Into the corner. Swing it around to Shireman. He'll pull it for three. And Shireman knocks one down. Free throw. And Creighton will be able to dribble this one out. As Josiah Dunsler will bring it across half court as time expires here tonight on Pink Out Night in Omaha. Greg McDermott and Matt Brady will shake hands. The Blue Jays dominate the second half and get their seventh win in Big East play here tonight, 85-62. This was Creighton being Creighton in the final 20 minutes. Good battle in the first half by DePaul. Great to see those guys competing, but Creighton, they didn't play very well tonight, and they still hung 85, and that's pretty scary for their competition going forward. And they responded after halftime, no doubt being challenged by their coach. And Creighton has a lot to feel good about getting ready for that next matchup on the horizon with Butler. 85-62, that's all from Omaha. Again, that was your final. For Jess Settles, I'm Lane Grindle. You've been watching Big East Hoops on FS1.